According to several reports, a suspect that police have been working to track down in the 2007 disappearance of Madeline McCann is dead. Portuguese investigators announced earlier this week that they were looking for information on a specific man in connection with the three-year-old British girl's possible abduction. She was last seen on vacation with her family in a Portuguese resort town nearly seven years ago. Police say they hope to find a man accused of breaking into vacation homes of British tourists in Portugal and sexually assaulting five young girls between 2004 and 2010. Days later, a source close to the investigation told The Guardian that the man had died five years ago in a tractor accident. But a lot of this information apparently wasn't anything new to investigators. The suspect, who several media outlets have identified as 40-year-old Euclides Montero, made headlines back in November 2013 after Portuguese police named him as a suspect in Madeline's disappearance. But a source told The Guardian information about the possible connection between Montero and the five sexual assaults in that area was not made public at the time. Montero worked at the Portuguese resort where Madeline vanished from, though he was fired the year before she went missing. Though police are reportedly still working on gathering information about the sexual assault claims, they say they haven't made any definitive conclusions about Montero. Authorities from both Portugal and the UK have been searching for more evidence ever since the case was reopened back in October. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.